In this video, I'm showing you the best video compressor for PC and Mac. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like as well. And please do watch this video right until the end, so the full steps, and I'm also showing you the best settings for the program as well. So without any further ado, let's go and jump straight into this. Just before I go and show you the compressor, I want to go and show you some of the results I've gone and achieved. So this first clip here is the raw video. As you can see, it's 23 megabytes and it's 13 seconds long. And then this video called After is the one which has been compressed by this great software. So I'm gonna go and hover over it. And as you can see, it's 13 seconds long and only 800 kilobytes. So that's around a 20 times decrease in files size it's absolutely awesome and let's go and show you how to get this so the first thing you need to do is go and open up a browser I'm personally using Google Chrome and you want to come to a search engine such as Google then all you want to do is go and search the program called handbrake you spell it h-a-n-d-b-r-a-k-e now do keep watching I'm showing the full settings for this as well which is really important so go and press enter and you want to make sure you come to the official website which is handbrake.fr as you can see it's open source video transcoder so one of the best things about the software is it's completely free and it's really effective as well so if you want to go and get it on Mac you need to go and click on other platforms below the download button and as you can see here are all the different versions you can go and get. So personally, I'm going to go get the most up-to-date one just here. So you want to go and click on download 64-bit. If you're worried that your computer isn't 64-bit, then all you need to do is come to the magnifying glass and go and search for system information, just like so, and press enter. And then you want to go and look for system type. And as you can see, mine is a 64-bit base PC. So there we go. I now can go and start the download. So all I'm going to do is go click on download 64-bit, and it's going to go and drop it. It's only 20 megabytes, so it isn't that big at all. So all you want to do is wait for that to finish downloading. It may go and appear in your file explorer if you aren't using Google Chrome. And the next step is, is just to go and install it. So go and open up the exe file and it's gonna go and give you an installer and just go and follow the installation instructions. It's really straightforward and I'll catch up with you once it's gone and installed on your system. Now you should have gone and installed Handbrake and the next step is, is to go and open it up again. So it should be on your desktop with a shortcut. If it isn't, don't worry, mine isn't. And all you need to do is come down to this magnifying glass down here and you want to go and search for Handbrake just like so, and we can go and launch it up and here it is. So wait for it to load. And the first thing, as you can see, you can either go and open up a folder um, with multiple files in it and it's gonna run through all of those, or you can go and open up a single video file as well. Clicking here is gonna go and open up File Explorer, or you can just go and drag the video straight in, just like I've done now. It's gonna go and scan the title, and here we are. Now I'm gonna go and quickly run through the key settings. So the main thing you want to do is come down to this row of tabs here, and all you want to do is come and look at summary, and you want to go and make it web optimized if you're gonna use it on the web. Keep the format as MP4, and that's the main settings for here. Then come along to video, just here, and you can go and choose the video encoder. Honestly, X264 is gonna be fine. But come down to frame rate, and what I recommend doing here is making sure you scroll up and go and set it to same as source. This means that it's gonna go and keep the same frame rate as to what it's recorded as in, as mine was originally recorded in 60 FPS, and that's what I want it to be. And then you want to go and change it to constant frame rate so it stays at 60 FPS the whole time. And for the quality, you can leave that as default. And the next thing you want to do is come to the bottom to where it says save as. So this is where the video is gonna go and be saved. So I want it to be appearing on my desktop. So therefore I'm gonna go and click on browse, just like so. And I'm just gonna go and select my desktop. And then I'm just gonna go and change this before to after. Just so I can go and differentiate between the two different videos. Then go and click save. And now we're all ready to go. So all you then need to do is go and click on start encode. Uh, as you can see, it's now starting and it's gonna go and show you the percentage it's gone and achieved at the bottom and I'll catch up with you once it's gone and finished. So let's go and check out the video before it was compressed. Let's go and hover over it. And as you can see before, it was 136 megabytes and the length was one minute and 15 seconds. Now let's go and check out the video after it's been compressed. And the current length is one minute 15. And as you can see, the size is 3.37 megabytes. So if I'm correct, that's around a 30 times decrease. That is honestly really impressive, all from a free software. And quickly before I finish off this video, I wanted to quickly go and discuss the quality changes caused by Handbrake. In my opinion, they're little to none. I don't notice the change at all. But of course, the best way for you to go and check this out is to go and get Handbrake yourself and go and see how it looks like. But there we go, guys. If you did find this video useful, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. Leave a like for more. Peace.